through the tall grass of the village, Andy raced home as it was almost time for supper. But what was more exciting for him was not the food, it was the stories his mother would tell of her travels, as they sat around the fire after eating. Running as hard as he could, his heart pumping faster and faster the closer he got, not realizing that this particular evening's story would be one that would change the course of his life forever. Handy, slow down, his mother shouted as he spotted him sprinting towards the hut. The now out of breath Handy took one deep breath and said, Sorry mama, I didn't want to miss the story. Now, with all the children around the fire, Bria Dukas began narrating her story. Today, as I was in the town, I heard a missionary speak. He said, we were all sinners and that we would suffer for our sins. There is a place called hell that is nothing but fire and that all sinners will go there. And with his voice shaking, Andy asked, what can we do about our sins? Then his mother replied, I don't know. I didn't hear him say what we could do. That night, Andy couldn't sleep. The story still echoing in his heart. He tossed and turned, afraid to fall asleep. When he would attempt to sleep, he would dream of hell and instantly awaken, frightened. The following day, he ran to one of his hiding places, and there he began to cry because he didn't want to go to hell, but he did not have anyone to tell him how to be safe from it. This happened for several weeks. He would go to his jungle retreat, continue to seek God, desperately shouting, Creator, if you're there, save my soul. Creator, if you're there, save my soul. Then one day, sweet thick music began to play in the air around him. The music seemed to be coming from all around. And he heard, Fear not, sin not. God showed Handy that he was real and that he hears us when we call. Though this was the first time such an experience happened, it was not the last. As Handy continued to seek God through prayer, God continued to reveal himself. 